Evan Jimenez, please come to the office. Evan Jimenez. calculated field from that handout I gave you. Yes. So, write it out in a notebook. Yes. 
So what of you go into the pad? What of you from the group go into the pad and go to N K six X S? Now in the collaboration board, you will type out the complete calculated field that you and your partner um, agreed upon. So in the collaboration board, you will type out the complete calculated field that you agreed upon. All right, now I'll give you two minutes to do that. So type out the complete calculation field you will put three of your right? So type out the complete calculation deal that you agree upon. I do the same scenario that you have at the back of there. And once you finish, you submit. And you will notice, of course, that it has pending approval, as I don't want anybody peeking at any other person's submission until I approve them. Then we'll Attention, review it together at once. Please come to the office. Peter Barrientos. Quickly, we'll okay, this time. You already submitted? Okay. You already submitted? Good. Okay. From a show of hands, who all have submitted a reply? From a show of hands, who all have submitted a reply? Okay. I believe that's everyone. Now, let us look and review together our analysis of the calculated fields. So, our calculated field, first, what is the calculated field name? Bonus. bonus. So, bonus and then colon. Step one and two. What is the field that we will use? Annual salary. Annual salary. And that should be in square brackets. What math calculation will we do? Will we add, subtract, multiply, divide? Multiply. And that is an asterisk. Now, we will multiply by 8%. And what is 8% in decimal? 0.08. 0. 0. 0. So let's look at our results. I see Cassian Chavaria. There is no need to add. Because you're only calculating, Christian, good, Aramner, excellent, very good. I see most of you have um, this, uh, let me see, Lindsay and Elena, it's not addition you want to do here, but you want to multiply, right? So please take note of that, you are adding here, it's not addition. Jamilet, it's not, this is 80%. 0 0.8 is 80 percent. So, same thing. Shamrania, Susanna. Remember, students, to get percentage to decimal, you take it and you divide it by what number? 100. So you take it, divide by 100, and you get 0 0.08. Good. Okay. From that, I see most of it. Um, Jalia and Jeffrey, remember, this is not the calculated field name. It tells you the calculated field name is bonus alone. The query, it tells you to save as police bonus. Good. Now, students, for your activity, what you are now going to be doing is using the database, the student database that you had done with Mr. Cobb. But before that, we are going to see a short video on calculated fields. So I'll just end this, and then we will see a short video on calculated fields. So 
weapon remote control workstation. And then kindly attention to our video <coughs> on calculated field. Calculated field performs some type of arithmetic on one or more fields in a database to come up with a completely new field. For example, you could calculate the sales tax for an invoice by multiplying an invoice total field by a tax rate. You must create an expression to perform a calculation. To enter fields in an expression, type the field name in brackets. If a field name exists in more than one table, you need to specify the fields table in brackets, followed by an exclamation point. Let's create a calculated field to calculate employee bonuses. Click the blank cell in the fourth column. Now let's enter the parameters for our expression. First, enter the field name for the field that will display the results of the calculation followed by a colon. Then enter the expression you want access to calculate using the proper syntax. This expression will create a new field called bonus that displays the results of multiplying the cost field by the commission field. Let's see the results of our calculated field. Click the view button in the results group of the ribbon. Access displays the results of the query. Notice that the bonus column displays the results of the expression we entered. Good. Now, a very short video. When you are looking at that video, did you see the five steps that we have been going through over this uh, past session? Did you see them? Yes. Right? You saw the calculated field. You saw the colon. And of course, you saw the math operators. Now, now that we know how to do a calculated field in writing, I will demonstrate to you how to do it in Microsoft Access. So I'm using the same scenario that I have. I have this database. And of course, I will be asking your assistants because you all know how to do a calculated field. I'll be using the hat to get some volunteers to guide me as I go along. Field. 
to the blank, to the right side of the blank. Right? right, to the next blank row that we have, which is right here. Now, from here, in the video, they titled the calculated field there. I will show you the expression builder, which will give you more space to type out your information. So right click, build, and your expression builder come out. Now, Shamarini, Shamarini, we have decided on a calculated field that was correct. What is the calculated field? Right? So we had said it was bonus. And then what did we say? Oh, square brackets. Excuse me? Square brackets. You put it in brackets. Right. The identifier. And which identifier Annual. did we say we would use? Salary. Annual salary. Salary. <laughs> and then what operator would we use? Which is which symbol is that? Um, right? And then we will multiply by what number? What constant? 0 0.08. 0 0.08. So students, this is what we have been doing over the past few sessions. Now we put it in Microsoft Access. Now that we have that, according to the video, you confirm it, you view it. To run just like you would do any normal select query and you see your calculated field however does your calculated field appear in currency no. no no it's not so we need to put currency to that and to do that can you pay attention to the step you go to design view you go to the calculated field you right click, properties, you change format to currency, and you view it again, and you now have your calculated field. Any questions that you see that you might run into with your calculated field? No. Good. Are you ready to attempt one on your own? Yes, sir. Good. Now, one thing I must tell you, spelling is very important because if by mistake I misspelled my identifier, access is going to accept it, but when I view it or I run it, it's going to give me that. Once you see a parameter value, when you run a query, that means that there is a spelling error or something wrong with this field. So, you confirm it, you hit OK. Access will generate the query, but it's going to be blank. You go to design view, of course, and you fix your error. And you run it, and now you have your correction. So, you are now going to be working on your student database that you did with Mr. Pam. So, you are going to go to your desktop. Information Technology Form 3, 3K. And you will open that. There are two queries in there. I want you to do the first query. And when you finish, Generate your results just like this so that I can check it from my workstation. So I'll release your workstation and it's now 19 minutes remaining in the session. 10 minutes for you to do this calculated field. So you can get started with your student database. And while you're working with your student database, I will pass around to pick back up this paper because I will use it with another class. So, just wait for me to pass around and I will collect back this paper. So again, it is the student database that you will open. 
and you can open the instructions on the 3A folder. And you will create only the first calculated field that's there. When do the entire the complete query. is asking you to include. And you can save it as well, it tells you to save the query and it gives you a name, you can save it as housing allowance.
Okay, I see Abner already has a solution. Excellent. David, you're receiving your query. Good. <laughs> Brianna, okay, are you, you switch back to design view. Brian, good, you have a solution. Tassian, excellent, you have a solution as well. Um, Catherine, I only see three fields. You need to have six, five fields, Catherine. Please double check. Remember the fields that you should have are last name, first name, phone number, qualification, salary, and allowance. Six fields afterward. Let me refresh my workstation again. Um, students, you have two more minutes to begin to put up your solution. Good. Excellent. You're still working, we'll leave it there. No other ones, no other ones. Shoot, shoot. Currency. That's not correct. Cross check. Very good. seconds and you should have a solution. Bring up your, bring up your, your. calculated field? No. no. Following the five steps that we have been working with and putting it together in the video, you are able to complete those as easily as possible. So I want you all to give yourself a round of applause because I walked around and I saw a majority of you complete that select query. What we will be doing is that tomorrow we'll be working on practicing more select queries, calculated fields, so that when you do your SBA next week, you'll be able to do it very easily. Good. So please save your query for me. Save your query. And close your database. Good. For your final activity, 
you will use notepad and you will type out one sentence. What you learned today, how to design a calculated field in Microsoft Access. One sentence. Not about what you learned yesterday or the day before. What you learned today. Type out one sentence about what you learned today, how to design a calculated field. Right, and then you save it as one minute paper dash February the night. And you save it in your white drive. Alright, so one sentence about what we learned today. How to design a calculated field in Microsoft Access. And you save it in your wide drive. I believe you all don't have an IT folder, but you have an access folder, right? Is that correct? Right, so save it in your access folder. Save it as one minute paper dash February the night. February the night. Like that. If you use an illegal character, you will not save it. 